Snake. It's one of the most nostalgic games ever. But have you ever played Snake in first person? Well, I'm going to make just that. If you don't know how Snake works, which I highly doubt, basically you're this snake and you have to move around collecting these apples which will make you longer and give you points. And of course, if you run into your tail, you lose. So the first thing I need to do is make the snake, or the player. I added some really simple first person looking at movement so you can look around and move. Now I just need to turn this capsule into a snake. I don't want this snake to be any old snake though. I want this snake to be a curvy snake, where instead of being like the rigid grid moving snake in the original game, it'll be able to turn in any direction just like in this other popular game, Slither.io. This is so it better fits the first person movement style since it'll be a bit funky if you moved your mouse and it just snapped 90 degrees. The problem with this curvy snake design is, I have absolutely no idea how to make it. So I went to Google and did some research. At first, I thought I might be able to use these things called joints, which allow objects to connect and move with each other. But after spending a while testing them out, well, they're really not going to work. Because of this, I needed to find another solution. And luckily, there's one waiting for me right here, which I definitely came up with 100% on my own and not from any help like this video here. But now I have these spheres, which follow the player, or head, around. After a bit of adjusting the speed and such of these balls, I now have a train of them which looks a little like a snake. Except, as you can see, they kind of push each other and the player around, which is not ideal. The reason it's doing this is because the balls have colliders on them. So luckily all I have to do to fix it is remove the colliders. And now the snake looks pretty smooth. Do you know what else would look pretty smooth though? Well, uh, you liking the video, so yeah, maybe do that. I tried putting these eyes on the snake and making it so you can see them, which looked kind of good, but then I realised that, you know, you're meant to be looking through them, not at them. So I got rid of them, and made it so you can't see the head of the snake at all. Next, I needed to make the things that you collect to grow yourself and earn points. The apples. I downloaded a scrumptious looking apple from Sketchfab and chucked it into the game. I gave the apple a trigger collider and made it so that when you run into it, the snake will grow longer, the apple will get destroyed, and a new one will spawn in a random spot somewhere else on the map. Unfortunately, this isn't flawless. There's a chance that when the apple is respawned somewhere else, it'll actually spawn inside your own body, meaning it's not really possible to collect. I ended up solving this by using an overlap sphere to check if there's any part of the body in the spot that the apple is going to be spawned. And if there is, check another random position until there isn't. And now this worked. But this still isn't exactly a complete game loop yet though, because you can still just go through your own body, meaning there's no way to die. So I made it so when a part of your body is detected where the head is, it'll get its collider enabled and your movement will be disabled so that you stop and, well, die. I also added a score which will increase every time you collect an apple. Now I need to make the game look better, and I have an idea on how to do that. I'm going to make this game look similar to the snake game that can be played on Google, and as you can see, this green checkerboard already helps with that. I added some simple darker green walls which I made kill you, but the game still looked pretty ugly. So I added some post processing like vignette, bloom and ambient occlusion, and added a skybox which you can barely see. I made the snake blue like in the Google version, and it was starting to look pretty similar. These apples look pretty dull and grey now though compared to everything else, so I gave them some red emission and spent a while making some nice looking red particles for them. I also made a little animation for when the apples get collected, and gave them a really satisfying sound. Everything was coming along really nicely now, but I still felt it was missing something. Since it's first person, you can't see the whole map, and you don't always know where the apple is. I thought it would be a good idea to make a wayfinder or arrow thing which tells you which direction the apple is in. First I ended up with this, then this, and then this compass style thing, but nothing worked how I wanted it to, and I had no idea how to make it work properly, so I ended up ditching it and just moving on without it. Finally, I made a death screen with a high score, and that was it. I had finished the game. Here it is. Overall, even if the game isn't super complicated or anything, it was really fun to make and I think it turned out somewhat decent. You can play it with the link in the description. If you liked this video, go watch this other video where I attempted to make a game in only 12 hours. 